Capturing a sharp image is the dream of every photographer. But based on the photographic needs of different situations, camera focus modes have been changed over time from manual to autofocus, from single to continuous autofocus. In order to capture high quality images, it is vital to have a comprehensive knowledge on different focusing modes. So in this video, we are going to talk about the basics of different camera focusing modes and their field of usage. So without further ado, let's jump in. Continuous autofocus is ideal for those situations where you are shooting a moving object. Once you have locked the focus on your subject, continuous autofocus will let you track the subject while maintaining the focus on it. For example, if you are a sports photographer and trying to capture an image of a running person, you have to use continuous autofocus. Or if you have an interest in wildlife photography and you want to take a sharp picture of a fast moving animal, continuous autofocus is your best friend in this case. Now, as we have understood when to use continuous autofocus, let's discuss how we can use it. Well, it's pretty straightforward. You have to press the shutter button halfway down as long as you want to keep the focus on your subject and the focus will automatically move according to the movement of the subject. However, there are some downsides to using continuous autofocus mode. It requires more processing power and lens adjustment which might result in slower performance. Depending on the situation, you might want to limit the tracking area in order to increase the speed of continuous autofocus. Apart from that, it drains a lot of battery power, so you can't use this mode of autofocus for a longer time. Moreover, continuous autofocus may not give you an accurate result each time. You might experience that your camera is losing focus of a moving subject again and again, resulting in blurry images. One of the simplest yet faster modes of camera autofocus is the single autofocus. When you are shooting in a situation where your subject is not moving, the single autofocus mode comes into play. As it is the most basic form of autofocus mode, it doesn't shift focus to compensate for moving objects. As for me, I use the single autofocus mode very frequently as I am a commercial product photographer, which means most of the things I photograph are static in nature. I also use this mode in macro product photography. Speaking of product photography, if you are looking for the best lenses for your product photography, check out the video link given in the i button. Other than product photography, I find the single autofocus mode to be useful in capturing stunning portraits and landscapes. Using single focus is also easy, and the drill is similar to continuous autofocus. You have to press and hold the shutter button halfway down to lock focus on your static subject. As long as you press hold the shutter button, the camera will lock the focus on the subject. Note that if your subject or the camera moves for any reason, the camera focus will not update accordingly, resulting in an out of focus image. If you want to regain focus on your subject, you have to relock your subject and keep pressing the shutter button again. Manual focus is the oldest form of focus mode in photography. This mode is still in use because autofocus modes that are found in cameras are not built flawlessly and thus you might end up focusing on the wrong subject. This is where manual focus comes in handy. Manual focus lets you override all the autofocus modes and manually focus your lens. Manual focus is heavily used in astrophotography. When you are capturing image of the Milky Way and other subjects in the night sky, you have to tweak the camera focus of your own as autofocus might end up focusing on the wrong element. Another situation where all the autofocus modes suffer is low light situations. In that case, you might opt to use the manual autofocus for better results. Manual focus is also ideal when you are not happy with the autofocus modes and want to fine tune the image further. This is often seen in macro product photography where autofocus has done its job but you want more quality in your photo. Both in single and continuous autofocus, you know beforehand whether your subject is going to move or remain static. 
but there are situations where you may not be able to predict the movement of your subject. For example, imagine you are shooting a bird that is sitting on a branch of a tree. Now you really don't know how long it is going to stay in that branch and when it will begin to fly. So if you are using single autofocus mode, your image will be blurry as soon as the bird starts to fly. This is the situation where hybrid autofocus can save your day. This mode of autofocus changes instantly between single autofocus and continuous autofocus based on the subject's movement. This mode of autofocus is usually used for shooting indoor images with kids, wildlife animals, and so on. So that was all about the focus modes used in cameras nowadays. All the focus modes are different in terms of their function and field of use and there is no one type of autofocus to rule over others. So which focus modes do you use frequently? What is your experience regarding different types of focus modes? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section.